Brett Moffitt also in that inside lane, staying clean, safe for the night of Noah Gregson. Fairly uneventful there, guys. That was pretty clean. Ooh, just as we said that, <laughs> someone goes around. I believe that might have been Riley Herbst getting turned. It was. And then he got hammered, spinning again. Big hit there. A lot of contact. It looks like Ryan Vargas actually got into to Riley Herbst right there. The track gets so narrow when you come out of turn three. It's like 65 feet wide on the front stretch. You get to this little area of the track, it starts narrowing down. It's only around 30 foot wide, so one of the narrowest road courses that we run on. Yeah, you mentioned Ryan Vargas was there. Greg Galding also got a big piece of the action. Looked like Matt Jaskell might have been pulled off in the 13. So four or five cars that, that got a little bit of this one, the restart to begin the second stage. And we've now got our third caution of the afternoon. It's amazing the, the damage on these cars as we talk about how slow that section of the track is, uh, but a lot of damage to all these cars involved. There's no time to slow down. You hit the brakes in the rain, and that thing, like we said, it picked, picked up speed. speed. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. we, we got to tell this story. Darren Dilley making his first ever start in the Xfinity Series. He's from Oregon, SCCA veteran. He's a PE teacher. That, that's what he does during the week. But he found out about this opportunity, jumps in this second car for RSS Racing. Obviously, the, the day didn't go like he wanted it to. But just the experience for a 55-year-old who is used to influencing the youth of America. Awesome. Well, he instantly became the coolest teacher in the building. The coolest today. gym coach of all time for right sure. there. Absolutely. Now, I, I said, if you added a rope climb to the end of qualifying, he might have been on the pole for this race. <laughs> Only the second start of the year for Greg Alding, and we go back and see what happened. It all starts with Riley Herbst. Sheldon Creed looks like he got a little loose off the corner and just kind of hooks the 98 in the right rear right in front of the field. Yeah, and if, if you look at this, the visibility is about zero. All you can really see are the blinking lights, Oof. and that's why NASCAR has added those to the cars. Riley Herbst being in a black car, worst color you could be in today because you just can't see anything if you're the drivers behind. And once he was turned sideways, there was no red light to even see for Riley Herbst or for, for the six car there of Greg Galding when he was looking ahead. Let's just ride here and feel the impact because he got popped hard by Greg Galding. You hear him just trying ever so much to get the throttle put down. It's a first gear, shift into second, gets turned as soon as he's getting ready to shift right there. And, and Riley's just along for the ride right now, hoping that he's not going to get hit. You see Greg Galding come in and, and just clobber him. I never saw it coming. You see his eyebrows go up when he gets hooked there. Yeah, you see he gets spin out here. I bet he's going to look up in the mirror to see. Ooh, Ooh, big hit. Man, that was a big hit right there. Hmm. You know, you think about his story, and the one thing he had been preaching about his season is we need consistency, something they felt like.